Hey guys, Kareem here, and I'm gonna be coming at you a new video show's life story. Now, first of all, I want to start off by saying sorry I've made a video in a while. I know that doesn't mean much to anybody who visits my channel, but I don't care. Um, well, anyway, this video is gonna be about well, you probably already read the title, and that's probably why you clicked on the video. Uh, this video is going to be about my craziest trip story ever. Um, well, not my craziest trip story. Uh, it's just my craziest on lean. Uh, you know, DXM, codeine, those things, cough medicine, you know, the huge. Um, now I, I believe I've made one or two lean related videos on my channel so far and so yeah in both of those videos I state uh, don't do lean it's it's it's, pro it's a really bad idea to do lean um, but of course I, I can't really stop you from doing it uh, it is a highly addictive substance and well DXM and codeine are the two um, ingredients that you should only have in it when making it and yeah well, anyway um before i actually start the story i want to say sorry if you hear any fans or my computer in the background it's because it's really hot in my room <laughs> and where i live i have my windows open fans on and everything but heat just won't go down so yeah just wanted to say sorry for that hope you guys enjoy um well, anyway, this video takes place, uh, I think around the, um, I think last, or two weekends ago, so the 14th, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the 14th. Now, me and my one friend, um, same friend that I'm talking about in... Uh, girl freaks out at party and uh, so his house but we are at my house this time and we're tripping <laughs> like we're not tripping yet we get the cough syrup I'm not gonna say how we get it because that may or may not be illegal um, <laughs> just forget I said anything well, anyway um so anyway we have the stuff already and we're in my house we're ready to drink it and so we're just we're just waiting and then we finally drink it around i think around nine or eight o'clock or eight or nine maybe even ten o'clock um so we drink it and maybe like i don't know two hours later we start feeling it we were just from the, like within those two hours we just like listened to music and like sat around went on our phones twitter uh yeah so anyway um so we whenever we started feeling the effects i started feeling like numb in my body which is one of the side effects of um drinking dxm or lean or, uh, codeine it's like numbness you, you loss of feeling and so I, I I noticed that and I'm like hey hit me and now my friend he, he's pretty strong uh, and I barely felt anything and he, he kept giving me Charlie horses if you know what those are uh, it's basically just a fucking really hard hit in the leg thigh you know <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're just like, we just start hitting each other and shit, and I don't feel anything. Like, I felt like I could fucking take on a bus. <laughs> well, maybe not a bus, but a really strong person. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, anyway, we end up actually falling asleep, uh, around, I say one or two in the morning and so and then we wake up around i think five or no we woke up around four in the morning and then went to um an old school that had a playground 
uh, at six, I believe, so two hours later. Um, which is weird because it's not the time that I'm making the video because it's, my computer has the wrong time. So never mind, just forget that. Um, so we go up to the park and uh, we're just on this park. So I go to the top of the actual playground set thing and my friend decides, you know, he has to go take a piss. And since they built this new school where my old school was, or, well, my old elementary school, I'm in high school now, so yeah. Uh, he went down the hillside, and he's like, hey, gotta take a piss. And like 10 minutes later, um, he just, well, he just disappears down the hillside. Then like 10 minutes later, I, I decided, hey, Sam, where are you? And then I go looking for him. And I look down the hill, and he's on this tree swinging back and forth. And he looks up at me, and his eyes are wide open. And I'm just like, yo. <laughs> you good and my my eyes I, I could feel my eyes are wide open uh, not to mention walking up to uh, this little playground uh, area the old school um, the street sides felt like they were closer so yeah <laughs> it was kind of weird and <sighs> kill me well, anyway, uh, I see him swinging on the street, and he looks up at me, and his eyes are open, my eyes are open all the way, and, like, whenever I say all the way, I don't mean, like, oh, they're wide open, I mean, like, like, fucking, if you ever seen Robot Chicken, the intro, uh, it's where, like, the scientist or whatever fucking straps open the fucking chicken's eyes, or whatever, yeah, our eyes were like that, <laughs> and, uh, so I start walking down this hillside, and, um, or no, 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 never mind, scratch that. He starts coming up the hillside to the park, and then we lay down on the park and look up at the sky. Now it starts to drizzle, whatever, we don't care. We're just laying there for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And then we get back up. Then, um, then he decides, hey, I gotta throw up. Then. Once he, uh, he doesn't really throw up, he more or less just throws up, like, mucus or whatever, but, like, yeah. Um, and then he pats on his, uh, on his legs, where his pockets are, and he's like, hey, where's my phone? I, I lost my phone. So we walk, so we walk down the hillside, and keep in mind, there's, like, if you ever been around, like, like, weeds or whatever, uh, the real spiky ones, yeah, there were real tall ones of those, and, um, it was kind of strange, because it hurt, it, well, it wasn't really, it was strange because, like, we were actually doing all this, and we left the house while we were tripping, and, uh, yeah, so, all those things hurt, and I was in shorts, and he said that they were going right through his fucking pants and shit, which, again, I didn't, I barely felt them touch me, I knew they were there, it just felt like I was fucking brushing up against grass or whatever, or a, a tree, tree branches, um, well, anyway, speed of the story, uh, we go down to my house, or we go look on this hillside for the phone, and then we go down to my house, and I, I go inside, I look for it, like, under my bed, around, everywhere, and so we don't find it. So we're like, hey, we're fucked. <laughs> you lost your phone. We're tripping. We don't know what to do. We can't, like, wake somebody up and ask them to help. That's just not how it works. So anyway, um, what happens is we end up going back to that little playground area. We go on the hillside, and we're looking for his phone. And uh, we have to walk through these fucking spiky plants again. So we walk down there. And, uh, we, he finally gets the idea to use the, uh, find my iPhone app on the iPhone. And, uh, I thought we were fucked at first because he said, oh, fuck, I don't even know my password. But he, he figured it out. And it said it was around somewhere, and he was, like, he was looking at the map like it was down at my house. And I'm like, nah, it's not at your house, bro. Or, not at my house. And, um, 
so we look for his phone on the hillside and then I see on my phone play a noise or play this sound button that like sends a signal out and then you can find your phone so I play that and the sounds coming from down the bottom of the hill and I'm in all these spiky plants can fucking cut up and so we go down to the hill to like where we think his phone is we can't find it because it's in like these these like tall grass areas so he <laughs> here, here there's like a funny part um he's like he puts his ear to the ground and he goes what the fuck are they doing because like it sounded like it was underground um since or not around there since it's kind of like a rocky area but there's like still parts that are grassy and he's like he, he couldn't find his phone we looked down by the tree and it, it was like five feet further from where he left it and or where he like was swinging on the tree and I guess it must have fell out of his pocket or whatever but yeah after that we decided to walk back up the hill um, after we find his phone and we just go to another park and yeah we just go chill with that one and then finally go home back to my house yeah Overall, great night. Again, don't do me. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to stay awesome. Don't do drugs. And peace out. Also, leave a like. Forever